So a uh, quick update on my uh, project Grow Your Own, uh, drizzly Sunday afternoon. We'll start uh, with my railing mount. Um, this is my lettuce. It's doing uh, great. It's uh, not growing really, really fast, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. My nasturtiums, I've been harvesting these for garnishes and side dish or, or um, addition to salad. Really, really good so far. This is one of my other lettuce pots uh, from the last video. Uh, it's doing really, really good. Gonna give this thing a haircut. Uh, I'm gonna try uh, doing the, the scissor trimming on this one. Uh, they're planted really, really close together, so um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. In hindsight, I should have broke them apart, but uh, it was a store-bought, so I left it as it was. Guess that was a bit of a mistake, but it's still healthy and doing pretty good. I've ate a few leaves, so eh, can't complain. This is my uh, summer squash bucket. Uh, as of this afternoon, I have the first of my squash poking through, so doing good. I picked the uh, the leaf or the uh, seed husk off the leaves just a few moments ago, and we'll uh, we'll see how many more pop up in here and whether I've got a transplant or what I'm going to do. These are a big plant. This is a squash, so it's going to take up a lot of space. These are my uh, pepper plants and nasturtiums. Having some trouble with the chipmunks getting into them because uh, it's in a high traffic area for the chipmunks to run through uh, feeding their babies, I guess. They keep bringing more food from the bird feeders next door, but uh, nothing there. Uh, next door to it, I have my, uh, my pepper and my tomato. I also have uh, nasturtiums around the outside, but they haven't made an appearance yet. Kind of thought I lost these tomatoes. They weren't doing very good. I've had to trim the leaves a, whole, a bunch of times. Um, as you can see, there's some trouble on the leaf tips. Uh, what I did is I, I sprayed a low-dose baking soda solution just to see if maybe it was fungus. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's fungus or whether it's uh, uh, too much sun. But uh, I also have a little bit showing up on one of the pepper leaves, but we'll see how it goes. Next door to it, <laughs> this one's doing a little better. Um, some high growth, this is my radishes. And uh, in between is some onions. I've been picking these, as you can see, they're way overstocked for this pot, but I'm using them for lettuce greens, for uh, salad greens. And uh, I'll keep thinning them out. I really don't care what I get for radishes out of it, but the leaves and the, the stems are, are quite amazing. Um, my other tomato, this was the same story as the other one. I've had to keep trimming the leaves. You can see there's a little bit of discoloration. Uh, the really dead ones I, I pinch off. I hit them all with that baking soda solution, so we'll see how they do. We've had a lot of rain lately, so I'm wondering whether it's fungus or... Eh, again, it could be too much sun, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, they're flowering, so we'll see where they go. This is a new addition today. I uh, splurged and bought a full-grown cherry tomato plant. Well, not full grown, but well more established than the other ones. And you can see I've got a tomato there and there's a couple more. It's doing pretty good. We'll see how it goes. I also splurged at the same time. Um, got myself strawberries. So uh, this is a hanging pot for strawberries. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, so far, so good. It looks, looks pretty decent, but... Uh, um, I have a, on the way, I have an arrow garden coming for this winter for salad greens and stuff and I might save some of the runners from this and maybe try some strawberries indoors this winter, I'm not sure. Depends on uh, how this thing bears fruit. Up to my hanging pots, these are my peas. Uh, big difference from last time, these things are growing really good, no complaints. Uh, again, a little overpopulated. And here's the ones next door doing good putting out some uh, runners or whatever the term for those are and I'll train them to go up the hanging pots in here my carrots are doing pretty good no complaints next door I have chives they're a little spindly yet not really doing much in here this is my lettuce blend it's doing extremely well you can see uh, it's gone into normal leaf instead of just the growing first leaves uh, this is going to work out really good. Pretty impressed. And the spinach behind it. So I'm looking really forward to another couple weeks and I'll be starting to get some lettuce blend. And uh, my other tomatoes, these ones are in a bit more shaded area. 
These ones I didn't have as much trouble with the leaves, but you can still see there's a little bit of discoloration. But we'll, uh, we'll see what they do. Again, they're in flower too. This is my giant red mustard. It's doing, again, really well. No complaints. And another tomato plant. And the pepper. This one I've had very little trouble with any of the leaves. This one uh, is a pretty good color. A few little splotches, but uh, we'll see what it does. Um, if you've got any thoughts on what these splotches are, whether they're sun or a parasite or a fungus, let me know in the comments, please. I'd be all ears. For the meantime, I'll uh, give them a shot of fertilizer and uh, we'll see what they do. Um, yeah, if I have to, I'll, I'll hit them with the baking soda again and see if that helps like before. But uh, for now, I'll leave them as is. And these ones I just started yesterday. These are all a uh, lettuce blend. Uh, the two big pots I haven't put anything in yet, and that's a lettuce blend. So I'll have three more small lettuce blend pots. These ones are hidden way in the back. And they're staggered by uh, two and a half weeks compared to the first one, so we'll see what... Uh, what comes of them uh, should be leafing when the other ones are just about done. Should have a good staggered crop of lettuce.